Welcome traders to another tick mill trading update with me, Patrick Monley. Want to take a look at a few opportunities that I see uh, developing around the markets. I'm going to start here with TLT, the bond proxy. We're then going to take a look at silver and wrap things up looking at crude oil. So uh, multi time frame view here, top panel, one hour, four hour, daily and weekly perspective. We're going to focus on the uh, shorter term and intraday time frame here. I'm watching for any pullbacks today on TLT into the 9140s. If we can find support there, bullish reversal patterns want to engage on the long side at intraday, targeting a move up into test the 93 handle, which is the high volume uh, node on this uh, this intraday hourly time frame. Uh, short term, four hour time frame, we are still looking for a test of the descending trend channel resistance comes in at 9470s monthly projected range resistance just above there 9515 now if we fail to hold this equality objective and the 50% retracement 9140s 9120s uh, look for a deeper corrective move into test uh, daily projected trend channel support and the monthly projected range for 8920s on the downside let's uh, let's take a look at silver obviously uh, gold has been on a tear. Silver starting to catch up here, breaking out of the weekly uh, triangle that it's been trading in, taking out that uh, 2550. In terms of the near term opportunity, intraday, I would be looking here on the hourly time frame, three wave corrective pullback into test uh, 2669, which is uh, an equality objective or a symmetry swing versus potential one, two. This would give us a three, four, and then we look for a fifth wave extension to the upside. Um, minimum five equals one objective, obviously, is our first port of call. So we, uh, if we look at this, there's our wave one. And if we, if we hold at the 2690s, then our next upside intraday target is 2766. Daily projected range resistance just above there, 2772. And then we have that monthly projected range resistance coming in at the $28 level. So that's the opportunity in silver. Let's wrap things up looking at black gold, crude oil. Uh, last time we were looking at this, we were looking for a breakout through the 79 handle to test into our equality objective 83. We've exceeded that. We're now looking for an 8669 test, which is the 131 extension. 131% extension of our swing low here at 7130s. And the setup looks to me at the moment, uh, there's a couple of scenarios I'm tracking here. If we hold this ch uh, trend channel here on the uh, shorter term time frame, the four hour time frame, then we look for a move directly into our target zone at that 86.69 area. 86.73 is our weekly R3. And from there, as long as uh, we maintain momentum divergence, which we've got in play at the moment, then I'll be looking to fade that move for a pullback into the 8380s, potentially 8330s. Alternative scenario intraday here is we hold 8561 as resistance. We look for a three wave corrective move, which has an equality objective 8451. We have the value area high of this uh, intraday profile. 84.20, so we watch for bullish reversal patterns there, same upside objectives to play for. Okay, traders, as always, plan the trade, trade the plan, and most importantly, manage your risk. Until next time, thanks very much.